Hello there, I'm Stanley from the Dirt Block Deconstruction Council, where we take apart the dirt block piece by piece when the guys aren't looking. If you're like me and you can't get enough of the dirt block and its witty banter, consider becoming a member at humanechoes.com. Members get exclusive access to the bi-weekly bonus podcast. An hour of fun and frivolity with Tony, Joe, and Al. To find out more, click the link in the description, or go to humanechoes.com and click Become a Member. There's a crow on the realm. Crow? Oh, that. Whoa. Trying to reach back. There was a creeper that just blew up right behind me on the dirt block. Oh, sunrise on the dirt block. <laughs> no, it's a lion. A lion. A lion. Look, a lion. A lion. Uh, so this is where Al supposedly missed blocks. But oh, actually, we forgot where Al. No, I see you. Ah! <laughs> what are you talking about? through. Thanks. Somebody that's... finish the sentence. Which part? Any part. <laughs> Tony was gonna say I think we we should uh, stop and restart now that we're if anyone teleported because of that glitch. I didn't teleport. Did anybody I else also, teleport? I also didn't teleport. That's why we can see each other, and that's why Tony oh, stopped. Uh, hold on. Just a second. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> um. How do? Hold on. There's a slash before that, Al. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Totally legit. Nope, that's creative mode. Uh, Game mode zero. zero. One zero. Whew, all right. Uh, what do I do with these ender eggs? I don't know. Um, I throw them into the lava. lava. Just around I can throw them into? Just throw them off a cliff and eventually they'll disappear. That's true. I do have also a spawn skeleton and a spawn skeleton horse, which seems like that would be less benign than the ender egg. <laughs> skeleton horse is pretty benign. Yeah, I guess that's true. Unless you throw the, throw the skeleton onto the skeleton horse. That would be... Okay. Give me ideas here. First, I gotta get rid of all these regular eggs. <laughs> yeah, no! Put them in the egg area! <laughs> in the ovarium! <laughs> uh, now I have to run through here. Where all the eggs are. I remember the first day I spent some time at the ovarium. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Oh just... no. This is just like a hell of my own making. <laughs> this is literally every time I play a game with Albert. These <laughs> questions start coming to my Like last own night, Al just finds ways to break things. And then ask me questions like I know what's going on. <laughs> Why is this like... happening? <laughs> He's what? I always Shut assume up. that everybody else knows. <laughs> Why won't he stop talking? He wouldn't <laughs> stop talking to me. It was weird. <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. And you were he just kept walking me. to you, the silent <laughs> character being like, wow, you're a talkative one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like walking around. He's like, he legit like said, like, <laughs> why won't you leave me alone? I'm like, I will. You leave me alone. It's like, I'm trying no to way. steal. Shut up. <laughs> no, I was trying to get a like inducted into the werewolf, were werewolf, you know, culture the companions. Yeah, in Skyrim. Yes, but I couldn't do it. So, so many eggs. I'm gonna start killing the guys that have sort of escaped the main run. How are they escaping? They, there's not really an end to it. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, like, gotcha. Like up here, I don't want them. They don't belong here. <laughs> hey, Albert. Hey, Joseph. If I wanted to somehow other trick my friends with the pie face game, is there some sort of pattern or methodology behind how that game works? <laughs> you're making it sound like I've been bringing this up eight times a day. I said it one time, and you're like, <laughs> no, I didn't oh, we need to talk about the dirt block. <sighs> Sorry, I thought I'd give you an intro. I mean, it did, but it was speak, such monkey, a weird, speak. like, <laughs> passive aggressive thing. Like, <laughs> man. I sure wish you would talk about the pie face game, Albert. Well, I kind of wanted it to be an in for the viewers that I was. This is something we had started discussing earlier. You could have just said, said "Oh, but you know, before we started recording, here's how you do that." You know, and, and by the way, guys, before we started recording, too mundane for me. Joe was talking about <laughs> Albert was talking about this thing called the pie face game. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> you, you need it's it's not enough for you. No. The thrill is gone. Yes. I've you crave even more. To... You're like the serial killer. He's <laughs> yeah. I no longer goes uh, get worse and worse on I... his kills. This is my design. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, d d do you have any inkling of what the Pie Face game is? Jim? I imagine it's like all of those other preschooler games where there's you do like, like the one where the dog poops. Essentially, you have uh, yeah. a token and a die, and you move to a spot on the board. And if you're in the spot, then you push the button a certain number of times. And if the dog poops or the pie gets thrown or whatever happens, then you're the loser. Yeah, there's also the uh, um. Uh, what's the other one? The um, the uh, pop the pig, where you <laughs> mm -hmm. push the, the button on the pig a certain number of times, and if mm -hmm. uh, don't wake it's, daddy. Not, it's not good to talk It'll about explode. our police officers like that. <laughs> oh God, that's a different game. <laughs> you do actually feed him hamburgers. Like you feed the, the like the way the re way you get to, you know what? I'm just gonna put that egg up here. The they really should have been ballsy enough to feed it donuts. <laughs> or bacon. Uh, that was probably like the first iteration. I could definitely see that. Back when people innocently made fun of cops for eating donuts. Ah! I'm in a temporal they walk that's killing me. Then the cops started shooting them, and they're like, Well, that wasn't funny! <laughs> Go eat your hamburgers. Yes. What was that uh, command be... that somebody posted on one of the comments about how we can make it so we don't have to toggle oh! downfall? Uh, do you want me to go look that up? Sure. I want you to explain the pie game! <laughs> <laughs> what pie game? <laughs> pie gal? Uh, oh, so God. I'll off, look up the stupid thing. The Pie Face game is a game... Are oh, you going to look up the comment? Thank you, Joe. Uh, it's a game where you, uh, you like, put your chin in this uh, holster, for lack of a better word, um, and your your face up to, a like, a little hole, and there's a, a lever in front of you, which, if you play the game in the full way, you, like, spray some whipped cream on there. And then you have a handle that you turn, and you can turn the handle a certain number of times. And if you play, like, I don't ever play it with this way this way because I have a four-year-old and he's not that patient. But the yeah. idea is that you sort of bet against how many more turns the handle has before you're going to get slapped in the face. Mm -hmm. So you you run the you run through the turns, hoping not to get slapped in the face. Um, the way we play it, you just turn it until you get slapped in the face, and then it's the next person's turn. <laughs> wow, that's... that's the worst version of Russian Roulette I've ever heard. <laughs> it is very much like Russian Roulette, That's though. the original game. I knew there was some sort of adult version that was probably worth Yes. Yeah, it's like Deer uh, Hunter. But I didn't know, like, Ow. it's random. Uh, where you're, you're turning the handle, like, or it seems random anyway. You're turning the handle in a circle, you know, to for a certain number of clicks, and... Whoa. Oh no, I don't have any food. And I'm about to starve. Um, boats. You turn turn the handle for a certain number of clicks, and eventually you'll get hit by the thing. And I wanted to know how does the game know? How does it know how many when to, do? to hit you in the face? Um and, and so I pulled it apart, and it turns out that it's not random. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like this sprocketed gear that has, you know, spaces between like you'll you'll turn it and every so often there will be a little tab sticking up that will pop up and make the thing go in your face. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. I'm I'm really somebody's got to make like th th that really sounds sexual joke here. <laughs> what? No, I'm <laughs> just debating if so if you did it enough times. Whole, if you wrote sorry, down Al, how many we turns. don't condone violence against women here. <laughs> who, said, who said anything about women? <laughs> Tony revealing true. his true colors, assuming that this is about women. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you did so it enough times and wrote down how many turns it was, you would see a pattern. That's what you're saying? Yes. It would do the same thing with it, like every probably 13 or so turns. Do you have it memorized? No, 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 no. no. Every 13 turns. Okay, I got you. But it, it is enough to not feel like it's... Yes. It doesn't take that much. Likewise, yeah. conversely, randomization can feel super structured. Um, like when your random music player plays the same song twice in a row, and you're like, what's happening? There's 8,000 songs on my iPod, and it's playing this again? Oh, Honestly. I always wanted to... I never got that. Apparently, I got a randomization scheme where they actually took that into account. Yeah, no, they had to after a while. These were early iPods. They had to make, randomize, make randomization feel more random, which I found funny.
Well, I don't think I think that people don't want completely random. They just no. want to hear something that they're they not expecting. Yes. And not like the thing they just heard that was they weren't expecting. Why is there no food anywhere? I think you should just randomly play the monster mash every once in a while. Hell <laughs> well, yes. Like no matter what your playlist is. <laughs> <laughs> right. People were uh, livid when you two wound up on their iPhones, but if the Monster Mash just started playing out of everyone's <laughs> iPhone randomly, they'd be like, ah, oh, we're cool. You're like this. listening to like Parvati or something like that, just like <laughs> full opera. It was a Monster Mash. That would be interesting if you like, like a, a service like, um, like Spotify or whatever, but it's just like, whatever we feel Mash. like throwing on, guys. Jack it's FM. Like a- Did you guys have that for a while? No. Where it was What's supposed that? to be a truly random radio station of all, it was like, you know the you know the seventies station just plays the constant like same and it's true the same forty songs or whatever basically make up a huge majority of their playlists. Yeah, it's like uh, every day it's Carry On Wayward Son. <laughs> yes, you're gonna hear. But it's a good song. It, it is, is a good song. And if but if you're listening to it every day on your drive to work, it's like this is the same stuff. So they were like, we're gonna do a whole new take on radio. It's called Jack FM, and it was like they just took the entire radio station's music library because they're all sort of basically the same. Area. This is, the, is this a thing that actually went on the air? Yeah, I remember when it happened. It was like, wow, this is still they played for it. I'm sure there is. In the room when it happened, I was in the car when it happened. And we decided to switch it on, and it was it played Steve Martin's King Tut from Saturday Night Live, and then Alanis Morissette's Ironic. And, my and then dad you turned like, it off. You're like, yeah, well, my dad was, was like, I don't like this, and just switched back to the oldie <laughs> station. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it finally, and then everyone was like, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear I Wayward did, Son. So, so this is not like a website or something. This was, no, this, guys, this is back in the day when, I know this is hard to believe, but there was a time when you would actually get music from a radio. And they decided to switch up the algorithms. I like it the radio's <laughs> FVR. Complete, you didn't actually, get music have... from a website. It's crazy. I know. But it does Whenever sound like an of... idea for a website. We actually, I know this isn't well known, but back in the day, we actually came up with ideas too, before there were websites for the ideas. I know that's crazy. This was. D- <laughs> what do you mean we? We, we did think you that and we had like thoughts. in the room like <laughs> little seven-year-old Joseph Devon. I know. What if it was just a random radio station? <laughs> we were like, this is an idea for a website. Yes, Albert, it's an idea. That for was anything. 1923. <laughs> <laughs> this was. I mean, I mean, this was. I was probably 19, 20, so it was definitely still the internet was definitely flying along, but it wasn't turn on the internet and open up your own radio station flying along. <laughs> And definitely, when you were in a car, it still was CDs. Oh or... crap! I no, got, it was. Well, it was CDs. I know you don't like them, but <laughs> CDs are CDs radio are great. Much. Although, I need to find my uh, Nightcastle album to put on my <laughs> what? Uh, put in my car. Yes, How did you put Night it on Castle. your car? Don't drive away like that. Uh, where am I supposed to find dirt? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! That's Joe's bit. Uh, no, I just—it's not without without getting killed. That's the main deal. It's not <laughs> dying. Would be great. Albert, you pointed out how seldom you actually pay attention to what people are saying during Dwarf Fortress the other day. Yeah. And now it's like that Dunning Kruger effect or whatever. Now I'm really noticing it every time you just don't pay attention to what you're talking. <laughs> it's really like wow, that does happen a lot. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I can't imagine you. Then you. So then you said, yeah, my wife hates it. And I was like, God, that's right. Someone's married to this. Like, what, what is it like? And you're just like, <laughs> well, long drives. a long time with you, Chuckles. So. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. She doesn't have to deal with me that often. <laughs> but on like a long or even a regular drive when you're just like chatting and if she chats for a little too long you tune out and then tune back in with like wow oh, did you see that dog and she's <laughs> like oh. <laughs> I get bored because people are saying things that I'm interested in <laughs> that was the hardest thing about working in an office for me nobody had a goddamn thing to say <laughs> You'll, you'll be like off talking to Tony about something and be like, well, I don't care about this. I'll be doing <laughs> something else for a while. It's just, it happens more often. To be than fair, I do that in a lot of our meetings whenever it comes, like, the sense of Dwarf Fortress talk. Well, you didn't, the super secret video that's coming out, you didn't even remember writing it, which was terrifying. <laughs> I was a lot sicker last week than I'd let on. Yes, apparently. apparently. 
Wow, that was bizarre. You were just like, what What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My idea so, and concept and like even some of the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> like we all wrote it together. And you're just like, what the hell is this, guys? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Who up with that? That was me. <laughs> I just take credit for it all. <laughs> <laughs> so I am just, uh... I don't know what you're doing. Oh, there's a spider. What? I'm just running around, <laughs> like, collecting hey, there's dirt a witch as killing I you. go. Die, right, witch. Whoa, no, I'm talking to Joe. Yeah, I know. I don't have a bow and arrow, apparently. I was going to take him off the ledge, but... Thank you. I like that we never even attempted to try and make Whoa! the walk safe. It was just something we have to deal with. What? What would be interest? What would be interesting about that? What didn't we try and do? I was falling. We never tried to make it safe. Keep it secret. <laughs> Keep it safe. Well, how? We'd have to remove the torches every layer and then. Whoops. Yeah, I. Well, I do think that it would be nice to put some torches in, uh, in the stairwell, because nope. it's super dark there even during the day. Nope. Back to That's I, how just you Just because you're saying blocks. that, I'm gonna put a roof over it. There's already a roof over it. That's the problem. Over part of it. Over Where? a lot of it. Oh, oh there, there we isn't. go again. On our own. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down the only road Al's ever known. This stairway is, oh, is no, cancer. Nope. What's attacking me now? This is why what people is thought it's you missed a fast. spot. It's something yeah, fast. It's getting harder to do some of this stuff. We need to come up with a new pattern. Yes. Shockingly, Al's... Al didn't plan well. It's, I know it's a big shock, but <laughs> he decided to blomp. There's the stairs. We'll just go up here, and then I'll turn now. It's like, wait, <laughs> wait, what? It's just this horrible, weird thing in the middle of the dirt block. Plus, you know what? It's not that easy to fill in because now we have to do the roof, but you have to hop up to do the. I mean, let's let's take this into. <laughs> like, uh, are we gonna be better off now? just making a ladder? Like, how do we want to fix this? Ah! I don't know. Oh no! Come on! No, 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 no! <laughs> no! Oh no! I think oh, we have no. some time. I'm just doing this for now. Oh, you blocked me off. Yeah, we have, now we have to make a different decision. Okay. We just Ooh. gotta make sure we don't screw up the filling in of this area. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure the ceiling uh, is done. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, this is a good idea. I have a good idea. <laughs> so do zombies still break down the doors? You asked this last week and I didn't have an answer. I still don't. So you guys haven't been on often enough to know. I thought they did, but then you you espoused that they did not. Or the guy the guy who was chasing me did not. Oh. How's everybody Creepers. doing? I just making negative progress on the dirt block because of creepers. Yay! Negative progress. Negative progress. That, that damn Enderman community that's knocking it down behind our backs. That was pretty good. I was happy with how that video turned out. That was great. I just, yeah, I don't know. I really like the sheep for some reason, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> just showed up. Well, I, I just, I, there, it was, listen, I had to say a lot in the time space before he moved. And I got the video where he was moving the least possible, so. That wasn't, I enjoyed the sheep. It just made me chuckle that the sheep went walking by in the middle. Stop hating me, Joe! I don't know. I'm not Why sure. Why don't you like my work? What we're getting defensive I'm about. Put so much of my heart into it. <laughs> <laughs> this may not have been my brightest idea. Uh, ah! I thought the downfall thing was supposed to fix this. Ugh, but then I had to toggle it. Alright, hang on. Toggle. Did you just toggle downfall on? Is that what just happened? <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes? No. Negative. No. <laughs> No, negatory. So it's sunny out or not not raining currently? It's not raining. Not anymore. No, that didn't work. <laughs> what is it? I uh. can see clearly now. The rain has gone. Who sang that song? Um, hmm. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Well, according to the Cat Stevens mythology, <laughs> it's it's Mr. I can see clearly Zarif now. Muhammad or whatever. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't say Muhammad, Tony. <laughs> no, I can't draw Muhammad. I can say Muhammad. Really? I Is that how that works? I'm pretty sure. I think there's some sort of dichotomy. I mean, they've named their kids know. after him nonstop. Yeah, it yeah seems... it's like... Oh, yeah. Although, that's <laughs> also true of a lot of Christian nations, like Jesus. You have 
all over the place. Yeah, but that's supposed to be like their version of Joshua, isn't it? It's the same name, literally. I mean, that that you're not wrong necessarily. How did you so get up like there, Tony? Joshua, the ver- like the Arabic version of or Jesus. I don't know. You get what I'm trying to say. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I really what think language we're insulting would... people. Okay, never mind. I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't. Where are you? Okay, how do we... All right, uh, what I did is I just went to the end of the dirt block and built a tower up because that... And then walked around. But like, that walk all the way up the stairs up. and go straight up and just fill out another column. Oh, we're pooping <coughs> up the stairs. That'll work. Ah... See, yeah, and so we're, slowly we're slowly progressing slowly... that. Oh yes. my god! Well, ex- oh my god! <laughs> run, run for your life! Well, uh... I told you. <laughs> that's definitely a hundred percent. Wow, secure. that's a nice little train. Yeah, you pissed them off. All their religions. <laughs> Take this, Zeus. <laughs> Take that, Buddha. <laughs> Buddha isn't a. Deity. I know, it's, it means enlightened one, etc., etc. Although I guess they do kind of treat him like that. They, well, they've times? got like the, the fat ones, which are like the immortals or something like that, like a different type of spirit thing. Oh, like from the Zack Snyder 300? I really, really don't think we're supposed to be talking about this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know what Al's talking about. Yeah, I, I know what... Like, yeah. I kind of know what he's talking about. They but... have the Immortals in the 300 movie. I oh, know. I see. I thought you were talking about the actual fat monster, and I was like, that's kind of rude to Buddhism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he's a sacred person, it's just not cool to, like, generally poop all so over. So how are we supposed to get back down from here? But then again, I believe that nothing is sacred, so. Make are fun you of up whatever. here? What? Here are I am. You... Where? Uh, Al, log, log, log in. Okay. Apparently not. It's because he went in god mode. Oh, that's very possible. But not Buddhist god mode. The other god, the real god, the one true god. <laughs> the, the one bird gods. god. Did you end up liking Lost Gods? I haven't what? finished it. I, I like it okay. I don't hate it, but it's not really <laughs> gripping me like I wanted it to. I still it's got a lot it. of that really cool mythology. I like the implication that the underworld is essentially endless. That was a lot of fun. There he, there he is. Yeah, how did we get down from here, Tony? <laughs> What's that? How do we get down uh, from here? We go over there, then jump down, apparently. <laughs> I came up with a way to get up. I didn't come up with a way <laughs> to get down. I was going to say, wow, man. Sounds like somebody's idea wasn't very well thought out. Huh? <laughs> well, I didn't have hey, at least ours is progressing the dirt block. It's true. Not making winding tunnels through the middle of it like some sort of like drunken ant. I'm the mole man! <laughs> with the mole plan! <laughs> What we hand. need to do is have like the the stairs sort of like double back and come up the wall here. Yeah, I thought about that. Um, what? Just go. Is st- I can't survive. Wait, no, I can jump. Right? There's a jump. Yeah. There's what? a jump off spot. We'll yeah, just have come to up do that here every time. Oh yeah, that'll be terrible. No, what you do is you come over here and then you drop. It'll work for like maybe two or three more floors. What? Yeah, just do that. Uh-huh. I'm going to go over and jump on the slime. <laughs> this, is, this, this didn't... Yeah. I still think this is better than I'm glad you guys leaving, figured this out. I'm leaving. Leaving air holes in the... <laughs> in that stairway we had. <laughs> I, can feel, I can feel secure having filled it myself that nothing got missed. All right, here I go. Again, Man, I'm, this um, is bad. Oh, this is scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm okay. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. I give it it's three so jumps high. before Al ends up dying from that. so high. I, I think I'm oh, gonna there's die. a zombie? Why is there? I know why there's a zombie. That's stupid. Oh, stupid Minecraft. Stupid Minecraft physics. I did get some dirt on the dirt block, though. I want to... Ooh, is it juicy dirt? Reach around, pat myself on the back. You're going to give yourself a reach? What's going on? <laughs> what's the dirt on the dirt block? What do you mean, what's the dirt on the dirt block? You said you dug up some dirt on the dirt block. No, I said I put some dirt on the dirt block. Oh. I think we do every... I thought you had gossip. It's okay. No, I don't. I'm going to have to start watching Gossip Girl, though. Oh. So you have another show to talk about other than, like... <laughs> 
that which there are must so not many be shows named. with the word girl in the name that Tony can hate. <laughs> <laughs> but I like Zoe Dash now. You could watch the new girl. I've never seen it, but she's That's hot. That's good. It's not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be against down. that. My wife is into the uh, her sister show, which is Bones. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder which I one of them is richer. Weird. You ever you think about that? Because like Zoe De Chanel, obviously big movie star, like relatively well known. But her sister's got a TV show that's in syndication for like ten seasons, yeah, and that is forever. So like bankable at this point. So what was the question? What are we thinking about? Which one of those is richer? Richer? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Which one has the most life and friends? That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, no one cares about that. <laughs> it's hotness and money. Stick with the program, Joe. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Your hippie crap. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the one who's closest to Buddha. <laughs> so that would be like Rosie O'Donnell? Like, not in shape. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think Take even that. the actual Buddha wasn't supposed to be that fat. It's like one of those cultural images that eventually evolved. Yeah, because if you look at like Confucius and everything and like the, a lot of the statues out there, it's the super skinny dude. Did you hear about how he invented tea, by the way? I heard that there was, like, emperors that have claimed to invent tea and all sorts of different things. No, but Buddha invented it, for real. I don't know if that's... You guys didn't hear about that? Did he this have, like, a, a warm bowl a of joke. water and some... I warn you off, it's a joke. I don't no, know how. No, it's not a joke, it's for real. I'm telling right. you. Go on. Like, he went to China and he wanted to meditate, and, uh, like, he kept falling asleep when he was meditating. He's like, you know, he wanted to meditate for, like, two or three years. Like, a long-term meditation. <laughs> and he just kept falling asleep. Uh, and he's like, I know how to fix this. And so uh, he cut off his eyelids and he threw them and uh, they landed in a pot of water and turned into tea. That's where tea comes from. That does sound mm, very fast. Delicious that's... eyeball tea. I really can't. <laughs> that's that's the like true story tea, but... of how the Buddha invented tea. Or <laughs> the alternate possible story is that some guy like had some leaves fall in his hot water that he was boiling and uh, it tasted good. Or that since the dawn of time, people have known that leaves can contain nutrients and flavors and they, you know would test different things in, in water and such to see what would work. You think that, like, kitchens, like, in the old days had, like, is this poisonous testers? Like, not like a cupbearer in the sense that, like, it's somebody's trying to poison the king, but just, like, we've never used this ingredient before. It sure does smell good, but... <laughs> you always got to have like... somebody to eat that, though. Like, back in before there were kitchens, it's like, all right, we found this mushroom. Who's doing it this time? <laughs> You just get the oldest person in the tribe, the most useless, to do it. Oh, so the oldest person's the most useless, huh? Well, whenever you're talking about, like, uh -huh. caveman times, if they can't, like, go and it's skin like, a yak anymore. I like, think he that, got to 35, his life expectancy's up, he's had a good yeah. full life. <laughs> it's like once all of his teeth have fallen out and everything, like, I know you're getting close to that, especially because you don't go to the dentist, but come on now. I went! For your first time in 15 years or something? Yeah, something like that, <laughs> yes. It's like, for the first time since the 90s, I went to the dentist. I was declared I might stop okay. going uh, in the relatively near future because I can't afford it. I was on, I realized, I didn't realize I was still on something called Cobra from working at Walmart, and that just ran out for me, so now everything's stinking expensive. What do you want now? Oh, uh, Medicare? What? Yeah. Something? I don't, know what, I don't know what Cobra stands for. I'm just telling you, what it's you like a carryover insurance for when you lose your job. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I have to buy insurance with the rest of the unemployed schlubs, and, uh, it's not, despite the, the name, it's actually not that affordable. <laughs> yeah, whenever I was getting on, like, uh, the ACA, they had one plan that was, like, 150 that actually covered everything, and then the company that did that went out of business because they weren't making any money, and now it's like, oh, $375 a month for minimum coverage. Yeah, I'm paying that for my house. You understand, yeah, like, you I know don't how get many people... sick that often. How many people in the audience just went, you pay $375 for your house? <laughs> no, no, no. More, less than that. Uh, more than that. I'm sorry. It's like Ow. it's like 470 It's not much more than that. It's, you know, it, it's it's ridiculous. Yes. There's a lot of food I could buy for 375 There's a lot Especially of food I couldn't you got buy if I took $375 a month out of my budget. And by the way, that's Tony by himself. Imagine me with my wife and my two kids. Like, it doesn't get cheaper when you have people on. I don't, yeah. I don't know if that's a newsflash for anybody. The more <laughs> people you want to insure, the more it costs. 
yeah, insurance sucks. Yes. So gl- thanks for fixing it, everybody. I'm sure, you know. Thanks, Trump. <laughs> Actually, we can't do that yet. This will be out before he's inaugurated. Will it be? It's, it's right on the cusp. Yeah. So he inherits everything. We put a wrong? bunch of, like, just nether rack here. Where? Next to the, like, anvil. I don't know. It's don't just, like, I walls did. of nether rack now. I have no idea what you're talking about. I was just there putting together a blue shield and truly don't know what you're saying. Because I am really looking Brian. forward to the at least the potential for Trump removing the requirement to buy. Because I'm I guess I'm about to hit that and not like either if if it was still an act it's still in 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 not in act. What is it what is the word? In <laughs> In progress, in power, in what's the uh, word I'm trying to say? I don't know what you're talking. I don't know the subject of the sentence. The 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 ACA. If it was still, if it was still in, if if like they don't repeal it soon, I'm gonna have to start paying fines for not buying insurance that I can't yeah, afford. Like Seven hundred a year or something like that. Yeah. What the hell is the word? Valid. It's, it's law. Enacted. No, not enacted. No. Empowermented. <laughs> I feel like I, there has Engorged? to be a word there. Engorged. I'm not trying to get political either. Like I, people talking about like, man, if the ACA had been around, like so and so would have been able to get insurance. It's like how? <laughs> how did they afford it? <laughs> well, you have to stop working, and then you get more. Damn it! Maybe? That guy lied. <laughs> In all seriousness, you probably qualify for Medicaid, Al. Uh, my kids do. I don't think I'd still do. I'm, I'm like on the, or maybe I still do. Like they're, I'm getting to the point where they're, uh, like I actually do use food stamps, but they're like cut back as my wife has been able to work now, and hopefully I'll be at the point pretty soon where I, they don't let me have that anymore. That'd be a good, good milestone. Yes. Keep using it when I, uh, when I can get it though. Maybe huh. A little bit helps. And you have, it helps when you have kids block. too. They're Two like kids. Yeah, the kids are like, well, we don't want to let the kids starve. Like you, we don't care about really, it's just, but it's like you—you you have... can go steal. They can't. <laughs> How do I get up here now? I just made a. Uh, oh, I didn't make a <coughs> penetrable. Oh yeah, that's still okay. I can still do that. We got a little political there. I, mean, yeah, I, I wasn't I'm trying to be political. That's just finances. my practical, like personal life experience of. It ain't that easy. I wish it was. Yeah, we don't get political on here. I would be, I would be okay. I would be totally okay with, maybe not totally okay, but I, I definitely see the argument for universal health health care. Yeah, like single payer sort of like, has merits, even though it's crazy sometimes. It's just we aren't good at managing anything with our government, so it's like, how much do we want to give them the power of our health care? It's like it's broken well, yeah, either way. And people say like, oh, we need to take money out of health care. It's like, how? <laughs> like the doctor who treats me still wants to make money. He went to college for four years. You're going to be like, oh, but now you're going to like somebody at some point is going to have to get paid. I hope your doctor has more than four years of college. Yeah, because usually they have to have that. I mean, four extra college. years. It's like seven years on top of yeah, an and undergrad. There's internships it? and specialty and whatever the you hell. You got to spend like all this time residency, in your residency barely yeah. making any money but working 80 hours a week. Yes. It turns out it's just like a really crappy system with no easy answers. Yeah. <laughs> because if there were easy answers, they would have done it. And when you do introduce government money in, then there's like, you know, the, the fear of, well, what if we do overpay people? And then the government gets all scrutinized because they're, you know, paying for people's, you know, boob implants or something. And they're like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have been doing that. But And then you wide... get y'all Qaeda taking over places over in Oregon. Y'all Qaeda? Yep, y'all Qaeda. Oh, boy. You know, it would be nice if the world was a simpler place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so eliminate things more... death and pestilence and disease. And we're yeah. Fine. Mm-hmm. That, that's and the make, solution, guys. And make, guys. like, full-on abundance so that everybody can have whatever they want out of 3D printers. Yes. Woo! We solved it! That's the Nerd Block! <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Like and welcome subscribe! To, <laughs> welcome to Gene Roddenberry's Future, presented Vote by the Nerd Block. <laughs> we'll all Woo! be running for local Senate. Uh, everything will be free. Yes. Under the Everything Will Be Free banner. <laughs> <laughs> Especially our YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> but not the bonus podcast. You got to pay for that. Yes. You have to subscribe. And it's worth it. it. You got to pay viewers. for the real value stuff. There's just a wall of floating trees here. Anyway. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a squirrel moment for me. <laughs>
What? Squirrel. <laughs>